Well, that's where the collaborations came in because, like, normally if I do a beat that's too, like, techno way or hip hop way or, like, they don't know what to do with it usually in the band because there isn't enough to hook onto in terms of chord changes and stuff. So they just go on a hard drive and I just call it Dave's dance music or something in the hard drive. And, but this time, I was quite adamant that we pushed forward with it and just if they couldn't vocal it then either keep it instrumental or just reach out to people we knew that might be able to vocal it so that's how the collaboration started really so yeah there was like two two sets of um like like two piles of tracks ones that Vinny and the band could get on with and add something to in ones that we needed to just send out to different people, really. And what was that process like? Because, uh, well, you've worked with uh, certain people before that uh, ended up on the album, but also, am I right in saying, uh, for um, Don't uh, Touch That Dial, you just Google Japanese rapper and that's how you kind of uh, found somebody to work with? Yeah, yeah, I do that quite a lot. Just go <laughs> online and like I go on Instagram and like um, make a note of people that I've seen that are good rappers or singers or, or that with, with Don't Touch That Dial, obviously, you know, I, it's quite hard to know a Japanese rapper, but I, <laughs> I had a Japanese hip hop album um, when I was a teenager that my dad brought me back from Tokyo. And I've, I've lost it, but um, and I can't remember what it is. But I was trying to find that to see if that, you know, any of those guys were still around or there was a Japanese hip hop scene or something. Right. And then I came across uh, Yuko and was like, okay, uh, I'll I'll listen to this, and then it was perfect. So, yeah, just these things just fall into your lap, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> What are you looking for then in the people that you work with? Is it certain textures in their voice? Is it certain, well, I, I assume, that, do you collaborate on lyrics or how does that go? Sometimes we send them the lyrics, okay. uh, like the Stealing Sheep track or the um, uh, this one called Back to Back that we'd already written. Um, so sometimes we write it and sing it and then it's just not hitting the spot with Vinny's voice um, so we send it out and then other times like the the, the um, track with Self Esteem I just sent her the beat and she did everything else mm. and just wrote on top of it so uh, it just varies really it depends Uh, who it is and what they want to do, really. Mm. 